Hello, Capricorn. Hello. <laughs> oh. Happy editing. Huh? I said happy editing. That's fine. <laughs> Jesus. Hello, Capricorns. It is time for your mid March to April reading for this current year. You're getting the Thunderdome too. Congrats. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus if this resonates with you. Don't worry about it. If it doesn't, like, I don't know what to tell you except I'm sorry. Please come again. <laughs> um, Thunderdome, so there's going to be Group 1, Group 2. If you want a personal reading, my email's down below. Just hit me up there. And then we will get started. So, Group 1, we start with you because we like order. And your order is the Wheel of Fortune. Well, no, I won't start with that, but I will say that, like, things are going forward for you. Maybe even having some control. Possibly with Leo or an Aries or a Sag. One of the two. Right. But someone's definitely got some control. Someone's definitely trying to rule fairly and squarely. Possibly trying to make sure that everything's done right. Oop. Alrighty. No whammies. So we get for you Two of Cups, Group 1. The Alien or Hermit Reverse in what you want and wish for. Uh, Prince of Cups in your fears or rejection. Apparently you want to get left alone too. <laughs> Ten of Swords, Reverse. Just seeing that betrayal right in front of your face. Oh, Lord. Eh, that sucks. Five of Swords? Really? Jesus. Okay, group one. And the Ace of Swords. In the final result, as well as the Catalyst. This is like obstacles and what's coming against you as challenges. This is the situation, your wants, the wishes, and your fears and rejections in the beginning theme and all of this. The King of Wands rolling fairly, having control, possibly Leo, most likely Leo, but also um, Sagittarius and Aries. So it could be any of them, right? <clears throat> and apparently he's got some shit on his brain he hasn't been able to get off either. Um, trying to be fair, trying to be a correct ruler, trying to yeah, look at everything from a very generous perspective, possibly a little bit strict. But you're charging with that stuff. You're making shit happen with it. So we got, geez. I'm not being able to hold my cards easy today. All right, so group one, we got the two of cups, right? Could be a relationship, could be friendship, could be anything that just your heart was attached to or is attached to right now. Two people meshing their energies together. Together. I don't know why I can't talk today. Yeah, these two people are just entangled in there or whatever it is they're doing. Yeah. Well, there's one finally. some like eh yeah, news might might get some very very sassy news maybe someone's coming up being like a total douche about it like page of sword page of wands leo sagittarius aries could be a fire sign who's walking in just to say hey i'm taking off and i'm leaving you here or they could just walk up and have some really nice nasty words to give you when in regards to this relationship that has something to do with past events happening to which I have to say, you know, like, uh, like, very immature. Definitely trying to, um, I want to say they almost want to act a little bit bossy with their immaturity, too. Like, make, they, like, they, they're too busy, like, worried about whether or not you feel bad about what they said to be concerned with what they said. I feel like a little bit, like, you know, like, I'm going to say really mean stuff to try to, triggered this person and then you go and say something about them and all of a sudden they're just like how dare you but nobody feels bad for them because they came in like talking shit like one of those things right where like someone is actually shocked and tries to use the fact that you snap back at them 
And I, and I think that's kind of what's going on with this. It's like, two people are just in that energy of just like, I'm going to be a dick back to you <laughs> until like you get it that I don't want you to be a dick to me. It's just like, back and forth on this. Speaking of back and forth, we have the Ten of Swords Reverse. It's like betrayal right in front of you. It's like, this person is a witness almost reliving the accounts, but like, they're watching them zap the swords. But they're only zapping them on their side, while then the other side, um, gets stabbed to death. It's kind of like you're, it, it, it's almost like you're catching somebody gaslighting you in mid-conversation, and it just clicks in your head, and you just kind of stop and stare at them as they continue to berate you, and you realize, you know, like, oh my god, this person has been, like, doing this kind of shit to me all this time. I just know I need to go away. Um, yeah, that was bad karma. Group one. Very bad karma. Whoever did this, um, they might be getting their karma. It could be a Libra. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, so it, it, it's almost like someone just got their... Yeah, the situation is like some betrayal went down and now the karma's seeping in. And then right here... We got the wants and wishes. You might feel like group one, you just want to isolate yourself and keep to yourself and not open up to anybody. And it's because, like, you're very, very unhappy. You're actually, you're more unsatisfied than happy. You, you got your ten cups, but now they're boring to you. Now it's like, what am I supposed to do with this now? Like, I thought I wanted this, and now I really don't. Like, that, like that's literally, like, kind of what's your... Like, I feel like somebody... Went out of their way to keep talking trash about this relationship. <laughs> and I think that was part of the, um... Yeah, it's like, almost like with this Ten of Swords reverse. Like, someone just heard or saw or noticed someone being, you know... A little bit mouthy. And now it's like, come back to bite someone in the ass. And it's almost like, you know, like, I thought I wanted to be mouthy. And now I realize I didn't like it. Uh, uh... <laughs> yeah... Yeah, 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 five of swords. Someone's betraying someone to stabbing somebody five times over. And this took time, I think, for, um, this to finally be looked at. Because this is about time, patience, um, what's been produced over a, uh, an extended period of time, the Seven of Pentacles is. And it's like, this dude is, like, covered with snakes. Like, he is the king of snakes. He's like, I'm a snake, you know? And it's like, he's got so many dead bodies on the beach, and you're just another victim, right? And it's like someone actually is now taking all the time from the Seven of Pentacles to see what it is they've sown to realize what kind of life has been produced. Well, I don't really want to say life, like... Because this is like a plant or whatever, or what it is they've harvested up, or, you know, what kind of seeds they've sown, for the most part. Like, they don't know what it is. And now they're looking at it like, oh, maybe I was wrong about this. Maybe, yeah, it, like, it's, but it's seriously like, it is seriously like someone's been talking shit about a relationship, and like, all of a sudden, they got caught up, and now karma's just, like, coming back. Like, catching somebody doing almost the exact same thing you did. Like, that, that's usually how karma works, though. You usually get fucked up on the shit you did. But usually, it, it, depending on, like, what you did or not, right? Prince of Cups. Prince of Cups. He's got a cup he's reaching for while surfing on his manta ray, stingray, whatever fishy fish surfboard. He is extending his arm out all lovingly, like, you know, like it's the heavens or something, or a Backstreet Boy concert, whichever one you want to choose. Go for it. Oh god, there are generations of people who have no idea who the Backstreet Boys are. Holy crap. Anyway, uh, mind my age. <laughs> Prince of Cups could be, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio type. They, like, there's a fear here of the, what they're offering with their cup. Which I don't blame you, because, like, like, it seems like this person is just now figuring out what cause and effects means, I feel like. What is the card for this one? 
or you know, not. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh! Yeah, they're, they're trying to reach out to give a brand new beginning, and here's a brand new beginning. Look at that. Ah! I think they're actually opening up and like being like, hey, let's 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 try this again. Can we? I think that's a fear. I think so someone's afraid that someone's gonna ask them for another chance to start again. Hmm. Awkward. We got the Ace of Wands down here as the catalyst as well as the final result, which is like, there's that brand new beginning you've been looking at. This, this is the brand new beginning that's in your fear, so. So what is it down here? Or, you know, like, okay. Ah, two. Brand new beginning. A King of Cubs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. All mature and such, right? A new beginning with this person who is actually, like, not all in their emotions and possibly not as finicky and will actually, like, deal with you a little bit easier, right? But there's no decision to be made on this King of Wands type, right? Just like, yeah, okay. Like, there, like no decision can be come to you about this dude or, or, or something. Strange. All right, three voice cards for you, and then we move on to group two. Yay! It's like this person just suddenly realizes that um, I don't know. Like maybe they were wrong in some regard. They just didn't realize it until like something came back on them like you know whatever betrayal happened happened right in front of them and it was almost in the same way that they could have come and done it to somebody else group one they might have done it to you or you could have been the one who's doing it but whatever betrayal happened previously has been reflected by me not being able to put my cards back on top of each other in a, in a very orderly fashion, because that's going to drive me nuts. Okay. But yeah, it's like somebody um, didn't realize what kind of pain they did to somebody until it came back to them. Which is like, yeah, that's why there's bad karma here. It's just like, you got exactly what you fucking deserved. <laughs> but then it's like, you, you still want another chance. It's just kind of like, yeah. Okay. Like, did you just, like, it's like somebody suddenly changed their mind. Yeah, it's like, you're finally coming out of this, like, very bad vibe with the devil reverse. Like, you're ending all of the negative. Like, I don't want to use the word toxic, because, like, you know, people use toxic unironically to describe other people's things. Have no self-awareness or understanding of common denominator, in a sense, either. You know? But there's someone definitely trying to get out of this kind of bondage situation with somebody else like you know and 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 that's a tether too like in this entire row it's got two people together either ref reflecting one another one way or another or there is one person who is like determining something like the wand over here is in the past the sword over here is in the future so it's like whatever this relationship was Someone realized maybe they were being kind of a dick about it. And then, like, the second advice card. It, yeah. Uh, no. 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 There's not going to be a new beginning. There's not going to be a new offer. This is like someone really trying to separate themselves from this relationship. I mean, it was too negative. It was too much. What's the third advice card for group one? Oh, oh I have a three card scenario for you guys. Let's see. Huh, okay. So, the main crux of it is someone's gonna be left out in the cold because someone just didn't make the move to um 
Oh, for the cup. To ride in with the cup, right? And there was no movement with this person offering the cup. It's like someone realizes who to someone else wasn't going to offer the cup. All of a sudden, like, they want to offer the cup to get something started. And it's kind of like, really? But whatever. We're going to group twos now. Because it's just kind of like, ah. Should have made the offer earlier. <laughs> Two's turn. Yay. Yay. Like twelve thirty. Group two, same thing for you if this resonates. Cool. If not, don't worry about it. It happens. No whammies. All right, group two, you've got eight of cups. Definitely you want some background memories. You're probably leaving behind four of swords and the wants and wishes. The moon in your fear illusions. I always think that this is the chick from like the Law and Order SVU. The moon right here, this chick. That that's for some reason she always reminds me of that chick. I can never remember her name, but she's got like a Russian name or something like Mia Missy. Something with an M. I can't remember, but you all know who I'm talking about. Nine of uh, Swords reversed in the situation. Nine of Wands reversed in obstacles and challenges going against you. Two of Pentacles as the catalyst as well as the final result. And, ah, you have the Two of Pentacles. Two, not Two of Pentacles. Two of Cups is your beginning theme. Group two, you definitely have a partnership on your mind. <clears throat> You're definitely wanting that love, love mm. of me and think. So let's see. Let's see. Eight of Cups. Group two. What are you doing with these Eight of Cups? What is it about these Eight of Cups that summons me? Ah. Please stop talking like a jackass. <laughs> All right, so Eight of Cups, right? Dealing with past memories. Dealing with trying to figure out what to walk... Like, you're hanging on to that one single cup before you walk away. They start some new cup stuff, right? This is about walking away from, like, what filled you up emotionally once before. But now it doesn't. It's like... You know... It's like, it's just that one cup that you keep looking back on and be like, oh man, but I, I spend so much time and energy and emotion and such in this cup, <clears throat> right? What is the card for that one? Oh, yeah, that's an illusion. Fuck that, that's the moon. <laughs> Either a Cancer or a Pisces as well, but there is illusions behind this, um, this, um, I should stick around for this person. Because of the attachment. That, like, that's what it feels like. It's like, there's an illusion about the attachment. And look, the moon's here twice. There's definitely, like, some illusions at play. I feel like you have a fear that maybe the illusion is real, but, like, I don't think it is, man. I mean, it's an illusion. <laughs> uh, Nine of Swords reversed. Someone's, like, torturing themselves in the situation. Yeah, and it'd be easier just to move on. That's the situation. Someone's mentally tortured and they need to move on to calmer waters. Four of Swords. In the wants and wishes, you are definitely concentrating, thinking, meditating. Of 
this King of Wands, who is the beginning theme for Group 1. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, tight, most likely Leo. You're definitely trying to concentrate on what you should be doing or how you're going to go about with this King of Wands person. Or maybe you're taking on the energy before you make a ruling decision because that's what he's there for. He's the ruler. ultimate, Not the ultimate authority because I think he'll argue with the Emperor, but the Emperor still has the say. And he's just got to be like, I don't know, well, it was my idea anyway. <laughs> But I think he's taking time before he actually um, comes to some sort of decision when it comes to this illusion and this man. Then we have the Nine of Wands reverse, where someone's like literally taking their own fence and just throwing it up. <laughs> like I just can remember, imagine someone like an Olympian, like taking like a two by four, just chucking it at someone's head. It's a horrible thought, but it was like actually kind of funny in my head. I don't know why. I was thinking of like Evil Dead or something. But yeah, um, what's going against you, Group 2, is like being super defensive, and I feel like being super mouthy. <laughs> like, I feel like you want to throw those sticks at possibly a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius, or you using those sticks themselves as your defense mechanism to just ward off people. Like, you want to verbalize in your defense, almost, that, like, none of this is good for you, and that's why you want to leave. Like, it doesn't matter what the memories is, because the memories are just an illusion. <clears throat> and I think you're going to come to a ruling about that. Then we have the moon and the fears of rejection. Okay. Yeah, there, there, there's an illusion here, and someone's going inside to, um, Analyze it, I feel like, with the Hermit Virgo's card. Virgo's card is always good, because that's when people really start going inside and getting actual answers. I think someone went inside for the answers about the, um... Move? Yeah. Is someone afraid that they created their own illusion? Or are you looking inside, or are you afraid to look inside at this illusion for what it actually is? Because, you know, there is a lot of concentration here with the Four of Swords and this King of Wands. It's like the Hermit's coming up behind the King and being like, Hey, so this is what you need to think about. It's just take some time. And then with this Two of Pentacles down here is the beginning as well as the end. We have the Sun also possibly dealing with Leo, right? Because the Sun is their Sun or something. Um, not entirely happy, and that's why you're having a hard time making a decision, or maybe something's clouding your judgment when it comes to your happiness. And that's why you have to go inside with the hermit, but you're just kind of terrified to. Or worried about it, one of the two. What is your ending theme? Like someone's be yeah 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 someone i feel like wants to walk away from the mind games that have been played in this relationship and that's probably why you are going and you're afraid to actually go inside to verify whether or not these illusions are real or not it's like it's like as you're walking away you're just like did i even love this motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're literally going inside to help you um, separate what is driving you crazy to what is good for you and where you should go. And I feel like in a way, like if you do defend yourself, like people are just going to come back or someone wants to snap back at you for no reason. It's just like, it's, that's a good deal. I mean, like, you know. Hmm. It's like someone spent so much time building stuff up that no one is allowed to say anything but them. But if you say something, oh god, you gotta put up a defense because apparently someone doesn't like it. 
when you say stuff back like that's I, yeah that just came, came up to me it's kind of like you know you have to keep your defenses up about what you actually come out and say as if like someone's coming to like attack you if you say anything that they don't like which is like bullshit you know like if people are talking about you you know fair is fair Um, yeah, there, there's no offers being made. No one's opening up. No one's approaching anything. Everyone's probably being like a little teenager mad at their ex for not getting back their sweater. But yeah, there, I, I, there, there is nothing to be offered here. No one's offering anything. No one's doing, mu doing much approaching at all in this scenario. Like, he's taking his cup and he's going back home. What's the second advice? Like, I really feel like someone's just, like, very much deciding that it's really not worth, like... Yeah. Someone is heartbroken in all this, and that's why they feel like they're on the defense about their words. They feel like they have to be careful about what kind of decisions they make before they make them, because they have such a powerful, passionate kind of effect with the king of wands right here like someone is definitely heartbroken and like they need to figure some stuff out like they're walking away with their horse and their cup and i'd be like no i don't even feel it anymore man like i can't say what i want to say i can't think what i want to think and now i gotta sit here and think on my own what i'm gonna do about this because i sure as hell can't come to you yeah because the kid because both knights are running in the same direction yeah, and like, no commitment in this. The higher offense. Taurus's card, right? Either there's no commitment or there's really no faith in the situation, no communication, no coming together on either a spiritual level or anything like that. Like. But! It is like they did it to themselves. It's like whatever this memory is that's stemming them to like leave, it's like they did it to themselves. Like they're afraid of going inside to even look at the answer, but they're still thinking about it. They're still thinking about how it is, like, whatever they say it needs to be on the defense in order to protect themselves. But it's like... You know... Like, I, I, I feel like group two, that, like, this person is this person right here with the swords and stuff, right? They're just watching all this go down. Right? With what happened at this relationship. And it's like they're under the illusion that like this needed to happen. I don't think they realize that um it's almost like this person doesn't realize that like they aren't the ones who were walking away on the beach. They are the ones with all the swords, I feel like. Now they got a smirk on their face like they're not sorry. But now they gotta go. <laughs> so good job. But that was yours Capricorn and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.